Oh, Edgeworth Senpai, I just don't believe it, sir. I mean, you kill your dad? I didn't want to believe it myself, detective. But it's, it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Moida is Moida, no matter what the circumstances. This is crazy! Just crazy! I was just reading through the court record once more. I'm getting my case ready. I'm getting my case of beer, and then I'm going to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. about pal he just admitted to it he confessed that he did it in court I'm sorry Edgeworth but I don't believe your nightmare what it's just a dream it's not real the truth is right here, in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight is just beginning. I'll prove you're innocent. Trust me. Well, right. Now then, before I say anything, Bailiff, club the cloak for stealing all my vodka. <laughs> With that out of the way, I would like to resume our trial. Judge... Miles, Ed Miles Edworth has admitted his guilt. He has confessed to his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. Then the pointless let us the defense do their cross examination. The, the statue of limitations of the DL6 incident runs out today. Those are conventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. I, I see. You couldn't find vodka either. Does the defense have any objections? No, no, I didn't. We couldn't even find a Kit Kat. No, Your Honor, I have no objections at this time. You have any vodka? I have so much vodka. My my blood has been, in fact, replaced by vodka, and that is how I live. Von Karma knew this was going to happen from the beginning because he's a Very dick. Very well. If the defense will not share, we must as well continue. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth, I am a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 15 years ago... 15 years ago... 15 years ago... Seriously, I kill this in this place. You mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It, it is correct. Right, case over. End this, end this now. 
testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about his dream yesterday, I noticed he was wearing really tight pants. And one detail didn't quite fit. That'll be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Please! Please! <laughs> that day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My father and Mr. Yogi Bear lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted him to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream. We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. The oxygen in the elevator ran out, and I lost my memory of the events. Yeah, the same claim Mr. Yogi has made. Very well. Mr. Wrong, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. Do this, you present the case file on the sixth statement. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, the DL6 file. Yep. Are you sure you only heard one gunshot? Yes, I'm sure of that. I heard the shot and the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious till the rescuers came. The rescuers down under? I see. No, Your Honor, unfortunately, you don't. Look at this file one more time. This plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy drugging out that little file, don't you? I don't accept this evidence. I don't accept unless you tell us which page is on. Which page victim was... data. Look at the victim data in this file. It says it quite plainly. The murder weapon was fired twice. Miles Edgeworth only heard one gunshot. Yet the murder weapon was fired twice. The first shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So who fired the remaining shot? Um... Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Give the judge a cookie! Your Honor, uh, sir, you're aware. This incident occurred 15 years ago. 15, 15 years, years, ago. years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second shot was fired. 
It might have been five days before the incident. There is no proof the second shot had anything to do with this incident. There's no proof it didn't. Why? <laughs> oh, I, I think I see now. I think I do. You do have a point. Mr. Wrong. The murder weapon was fired twice, as we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot fired had something to do with the case? Yep. Oh, yes. Your Honor, I think I'll be able to show you proof. What? Impossible! Now, now, Mr. Von Karma, save the surprise for after you've seen the evidence. You should know as well as I do about his bluffing. Very well, Mr. Wrong, show us your proof. You have evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to this incident in any way, shape, or form. Present this. Yep, present that photo. The DL6 incident photo. Look at this photograph. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I do it makes me cry. <laughs> This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years, years ago. ago. 15 years ago. The acoustics are really good in here. <laughs> I can see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proves the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So, let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Where? Gooby, please! <laughs> get a clue! <laughs> yep. As should be obvious, the contradiction is here. I see a bullet hole in the door. Your Honor. Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. Yet there is also a bullet hole in the elevator door. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice. Thus... Someone other than Edgeworth fired the second shot. Oh, order, order! I'll take it, your king. Club the man. Mr. Wrong, what are you driving at? It's simple, your honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went through Gregory Edgeworth. One went through the elevator door. Remember that the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wrong, but who could that someone else be? The murderer, of course. I know I should have stepped him before he were fat as his gun out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more up, up on the DL6 incident case file. Look closely. Try the case and be paid.
The case summary that's on page one. Look what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. If the pistol had indeed been fired two times, the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. Have a point. The second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet that claimed Gregory Edwards' life was fired by his one and only son. That is the truth of the matter. The whole truth. The all, all the truth. Something, something handling the truth. There's definitely something else that meant the bullet hole in the door. Order! I will have order! He'd like a large fry. He'd like a bailiff club upside his head, then. <laughs> Mr. Wrong has proven one thing to us quite clearly. That the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Kammer says, the second bullet fired was not found. It's highly unlikely that the police merely over... Oh, wait a minute. I know about our police. Completely possible they just overlooked it, but we still never found it. All we have is a single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. Tis, no! Tis. I praise the judge for his wisdom in this matter. How did, How this, did this happen? happen to me? He's made his mistakes. I don't believe that the second bullet doesn't exist. It has to exist. Was I wrong? Did I err? Have I been wrong about this whole incident? What are you doing, Nick? Wait, aren't you raising an objection like you usually do? I'm sorry, Maya. It looks like I was wrong. If the second bullet wasn't there, then all my conjectures are for nothing. No. How did you do it, Nick? You said you'd get that was declared innocent. I'm sorry. Just when I saw the photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I thought there was another person. Someone else who fired the killing shot. But now? I was wrong to think it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for fifth since 15 years, years ago. ago. 15 <laughs> years ago. Well, it seems we have finally cleared up this incident. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Yes, like precisely. 
I would like to ask one thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? No. It's time for a pop quiz. Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No. No, I do not. So you killed your father, though that was not your intention? Yes, I, I did. Oh, oh no. He's accepted the guilt! Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today, right here. Right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before. I've stood where you stand. They come for the hero, the hero of man. But why should we save them when they stand for nothing? If they deserve life, let them stand for themselves. My, my mind has been replaced by proto-men lyrics. <laughs> Mr. Wrong. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Your Honor, I object on the grounds that this is damning to my case. Tis, tis, tis. On what grounds do you object, boy? It's damning to my case. His case is perfect. Oh, oh no. Habagada. Ah, uh, there she is. Must exist. The second bullet. Turn this Wah. case around. What did you just say? The second bullet must exist. But where? Someone took it. It seems waiting is not going to produce us any answers from Mr. Wrong. Wait, Your Honor! Huh? I, uh... The second bullet. It existed. What are you going on about? <laughs> We've just heard proof that it did not exist. I realize that, Your Honor, but that wasn't actual proof. That was just an... <sighs> you know what? Fuck it, everyone dies. Someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. Who? Uh, oh. The murderer. The murderer. Then tell us, just who is this murderer? Still thinking about it. So the criminal took the second bullet, but why? Meh? First of all, how would they have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wrong. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for that bullet? It, the murderer didn't need it. Why would the murderer have spent the time to look for that stray bullet? 
No clue! What's wrong, Mr. Wrong? There no thoughts, only pandas. <laughs> ah, the murderer had no reason to take the bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. No thoughts, only pandas. You had to take it. Had to take what the what the hell does that even mean? Are thinking too normal. Think crazy. I've been doing nothing but think crazy since I was born. Don't think why the bullet was taken. Think why the bullet had to be taken. Is this wrong? Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm doing. The murderer had no intention of taking the bullet from the scene. But the mur murderer had to take that bullet. To Mr. Wrong? What do you mean? For instance... Where the hell am I going with this? Maybe the bullet hit the murderer? A bullet hit the murderer. You know, just for example. Wait a minute. I mean, if it hit you, you would have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. You know? Wait a minute. <laughs> I was just talking out. Wait. Holy shit, I'm onto something! <laughs> but let me get this straight. So the time of the murderer, the murderer themselves was shot. And they left with the second bullet still inside of them. Thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime. That, that's more or less how it would work, yes. But you, you see the problem with this, right? The other two people rescued from that elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yenny Yogi Bear, were both unharmed. So that would mean... The murderer came from outside, yes. Two men fight outside the elevator. Trying to stop him, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. Pistol discharges, and the bullet... The bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the moiter outside. The boy loses consciousness. God creates dinosaur. God destroys dinosaur. God creates man. Man destroys God. Man creates dinosaur. Dinosaur eats man. Woman inherits the earth. Mr. Wrong, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, yet I cannot deny the possibility of what you say. What are you saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved in this that was, it was in wounded. There was no murderer. Well, except for at least Gregory Edgeworth. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right, I can't think of anyone. 